Hey everyone, this is Linda and I am back with you because I haven't done my transformation video so I want to do that but I also want to come back and talk to you um, about my weight and um, so I'm going to do two videos today. Hopefully you saw my huffing and puffing walking video. I uh, finally did that video for you guys and it was so, so hilarious. Um, <laughs> people were watching me walk down the street and talk yeah it was just hilarious um, if you have not done something like that I suggest you do it but I want to come to you because I know that we every week I want to do uh, a transformation video and this Tuesday actually this whole week has been um, hectic 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 for me and that's a good thing, but it's also a bad thing because I had to sit down today and say, you know, Linda, you're really busy. And why are you really busy? You know, what are you trying to accomplish? And what are you accomplishing? And I think in transformation, you know, we get so used to a certain way of doing things that we forget that we need to put aside some things and we need to uh, let some things go and allow some new things to come into our lives and so today I want to talk to you about letting go and allowing and stop being busy for busy sake because we we can't do that I mean I'm a business owner so every day every minute every second of the day I feel like I have to be doing something that is bringing money in or I won't have a roof over my head. I won't have a car to dr um, drive. I won't be able to put gas in the car. Um, you know, I won't have shoes. I won't have clothes. I won't have food to eat. And so everything that I do stems from, you know, I need to be making money. You know, I everything that I do, I need to be making money. And so I do a lot of busy work. And that busy work doesn't al always increase my bottom line. And so... Today, I had to ask myself, because I told you, this week was hectic. So I had to ask myself, what is it, Linda, little girl, what is it that you're doing to increase your bottom line, to add value to your life, to promote a, well, uh, uh, a healthy and a wealthy mindset? And um, I realized that, you know, I don't know, 55% of the stuff that I was doing was just because I needed to feel like I was busy. And so um, last night I, I did something I hadn't did in a long time. I just watched a movie. You know, I well, after I came back from walking, I took me a shower, washed my face, got myself feeling all spunky and clean, and I sat down with a plate of salad and I watch me a movie a two hour movie maybe it was an hour and a half I don't know but I watch me a movie and I haven't sat down and watched a movie from start to finish in a long time I've started them and then got up cause something in the midst of the movie something came I don't care how into the movie I was or how you know one of my favorite movies is Jerry Maguire I love Jerry Maguire I it used to be a day where I would put Jerry Maguire on just to feel you know all cuddly you had me at hello you know just to feel that and I wouldn't get up until the movie was over and then sometimes I would watch the special effects and I have the DVD you know and I found myself getting up in the middle of Jerry Maguire. Another one of my good movies is My Best Friend's Wedding. You know, I would put these on, you know, uh, there's a movie out there <clears throat> that I love. I can't say it's one of my best movies, but it is on Linda's Top 40, put it that way. Uh, Muriel's Wedding. You know, there, there's there been times when I could go, yes, I am a romantic Addict. I love romance movies. I like them when they're more realistic than not. Because, you know, life is real. So, I like them when they're more realistic than not. But, you know, movies speak to me. And, and if you get to know me, you'll start to see that I... 
God can talk to me in any in anything. You know, I can walk down the street, see a tree, and all of a sudden I have this big, huge revelation about God and his love for me and, you know, just crazy stuff. But movies, I tend to watch these and I'll get these thoughts in my head. And so I like doing that because it pulls out of the creativity in me. Going back to it. So I had got to the point where I couldn't get sit down. I would put a movie on because I wanted to watch a movie. Um, and then I would get up in the middle of the movie and start doing other stuff or, you know, the movie would be playing in the background and I'd be cleaning, I'd be working, you know, I come back here, inspiration hit me to write something in my journal, you know, just stuff. And I would be busy and I wasn't enjoying life. I, I was just busy for busy sake. I, and I felt like I had to do this because I'm a entrepreneur you know I have to make money everything that I do I have to think of more ways to put my products out I have to market my products and I was working seven days a week 24 hours a day and I ain't kidding you there were day, there's been days in the past couple of years that Linda worked around the clock didn't go to sleep didn't think about it you know I think that's one of the reasons why um you know, I stay hell, I stay overweight because, you know, I can go hours. I can be hungrier than hungry and go hours without eating because I have to keep busy and that's taken away from my busyness. And, you know, I don't want to get on my weight right now. So even though I said that comment, I know some people want to comment on that. I know that I need to eat. The point that I'm making is sometimes we get so busy that we are just busy for busy sake. We're not adding value to our lives. What we are doing is taking away value. Something was said to me a couple of weeks ago, and when it was said, I was like, huh. You know, it made me think. You know, I didn't have anything too much to say at that moment, but it made me think about me. And what it was said was, do you... Are you grateful for the time you have or are you disappointed and angry at the time you don't have? And I want to ask you that same question. Are you grateful for the time you have or are you angry and disappointed about the time you don't have? Are you grateful for the things you have or are you angry and disappointed at what you don't have? Because we as people, if we're going to truly transform ourselves, there has to come a time where we are willing to appreciate and accept who we are and what we have and what we have to offer to others. And once we can wrap, that around, wrap our arms around ourselves and truly love ourselves and truly understand who we are then we can give ourselves to others then I believe that the things we're trying to accomplish in life the things we're trying to make happen in life the things that we want the things that we don't want to the things we want to release because again we're talking about letting go and and receiving we're talking about not being busy for busy sake but understanding who we are and what we have to offer I think that if we can really truly embrace who we are and understand that we are loved and therefore we have to love others the way we love ourselves you'll start to see that other areas of your life I'll start to see that other areas of my life will now begin to be what it is that I want them to be and the things that I don't want the things that I need to let go of the things that are draining me and draining the life out of me and draining the energy out of me and draining the creativity out of me and the love out of me and pouring in the hate those things will start to just dissipate they'll start to go away and you won't even have to work at it I think some of us we are working at being better people and all we need to do is realize who we are and what we have to offer and stop allowing ourselves to collect junk stop being a hoarder of emotions and a hoarder of things and a hoarder of you know 
bad emotions and bad feelings and anger and hatred. Stop hoarding that stuff to ourselves. Let's push that away. Let's let the love flow flood in. Let it flow into us so therefore it can flow out of us. And I think what we'll see is that we can make the changes we want to make in our life. And it's not that difficult. I think my my whole battle is not so much the battle of the bulge. It's not so much the battle with my skin, but it's really understanding that I need to accept Linda for who Linda is and allow Linda to blossom and flourish and watch how all the things that I desire to come into my life, like losing weight, like having uh, flawless skin, having better healthy skin, having a creative mentality and being able to accomplish the goals that I set for myself, I'll start to see that fall into place. I'll start to see that really come about and really be everything that I think and hope and pray that it is. And so hopefully something was said here about releasing things, just letting some things go because we know what's in our life that shouldn't be. We do. And we got to stop being busy for busy sake because that's a crutch. That's just something else that we're doing in our lives to continue and to perpetuate us being unhappy. And so, you know, and I don't want to go real deep on this because, you know, it, it would take a whole lot of time to really explore this. But hopefully I said something to you that would, that's going to open up your mind and make you say, hmm, I wonder if I am holding on to things that I know I should let go of. I wonder if I'm not allowing the true things, the things that I really say that I want in my life. I'm wondering if I'm the one blocking that and stopping that. And in this transformation that I'm going through, you know, if I don't let go of the bad habits, I can lose weight. I can clear up my skin. I could you know, have a better lifestyle. I can do all of that. I could, my business could blow up overnight, all of that. But if I still have the same bad habits, guess what? It's not going to last long. And I'm going to be right back here trying to do it again. I don't want to do that. I want to release it so I can receive everything it is that I want. So there's room so I can receive it. Because some of us, we're so busy and we're so packed with junk that we don't have a place for the good in our lives. We don't have a place for the healthy lifestyle and the good eating habits and the, the better skin care. And we don't have places for that because we're so bogged down with what we think and what others think about us. We got to stop allowing people to think and tell us who we are. We got to find out who we are from within us. Because guess what? It's a time stamp that was put there the day you were born. I want you to remember this. That only those that can see the invisible can achieve the impossible. And I'm one of those that want to be able to achieve the impossible in my life. And I know that I can't do that except for the grace of God. I know that I can't do that by myself. It takes a village to do these things. It takes a village to raise the child and it takes a village to really see transformation. But all I can do is work on me and you work on you and this world will be a better place. Thank you so much. Remember, transformation begins within. I'll see you soon.